Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the substitution reactions of alcohols, uh, specifically using phosphorus tribromide as a reagent to facilitate the conversion of alcohols into uh, alkyl halides. Mm. And let's say that we had uh, this alcohol and you wanted to do a reaction that converted it into uh, the corresponding bromide, and we were looking for that to happen with inversion of stereochemistry. Ooh, wrong button. Inversion of stereochemistry. So we were looking for something that's SN2-like, and um, we need to follow our theme of avoiding carbocations, but still being able to activate the alcohol for to be a better leaving group. So it turns out a reagent that, that does this is phosphorus tribromide, uh, PBR3. And uh, the mechanism here is going to be reasonably similar to reactions with thionyl chloride or the preparation of sulfonate esters, uh, though this reaction does not require a base makes it a little bit more interesting, uh, or at least a little bit different. But the, the idea of what's, what we start with is nucleophilic attack from the alcohol, from the alcohol onto the phosphorus. Uh, there are no phosphorus oxygen double bonds or anything to break here, so this has to look very much like an SN2 reaction at phosphorus. And now we have uh, the phosphorus attached to our oxygen. The oxygen still has uh, its extra hydrogen on it. The phosphorus still has two bromines on it. Uh, and even though I'm going to show only show what happens to one of the two bromide, bromines on the phosphorus, in actuality, uh, PBR3, each molecule of PBR3 can convert three molecules of alcohol into a into the corresponding alcohol al, corresponding alkyl bromide the second reaction and the second step in the mechanism sequence is nucleophilic attack or an sn2 like reaction here at the carbon bearing the oxygen with all the phosphorus stuff so again, what we've done is convert the alcohol into a good leaving group. And then because uh, that conversion created a, a uh, halide anion, which itself is a good nucleophile, we get another SN2 reaction, making our alkyl halide product and then the And then the, the leftover from the phosphorus reagent is this dibromophosphorus acid, uh, which eventually can react two more times uh, whoops. I do not want you to look like a, uh, I don't want you to interpret that as chemistry. We actually react three, two more times, and so you've replaced all three bromines with um, OH groups, and so now you have this, this trihydroxyphosphorus thing, which is actually uh, phosphorus acid. So <clears throat> this reaction works really well. It works with primary and secondary. Uh, alcohol, our alcohols convert them into alkyl halides through an SN2 type of process. In the next video in the sequence, we're going to talk about the apple reaction, which is uh, it's kind of a variation of this reaction, but it will at last give us access to iodine. Um, but it also avoids handling uh, PBR3 and uh, thionyl chloride from the previous video, as both of those reagents are kind of caustic liquids that um, maybe you wouldn't want to handle. Thank you for watching.